Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. You know what the perfect thing to do is this time of year, right in the Christmas season? Take a look at where we're at. That's right, we're at Oh What Fun It Is Christmas Tree Farm in Willis, Texas. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We're gonna get to go around, see if we can find ourselves a Christmas tree, maybe play some games, even meet a couple of animals or two, maybe make some s'mores. It's gonna, whoa, there's a lot going on. You guys excited? Come on, let's go check it out. All right, now here at the Christmas tree farm, there's a whole lot of things to do and a whole lot of things to see. I was just walking around and we came right across this big old red Mahindra tractor. Boy, this thing is great. And you know what? They even do hay rides with this thing. We'll do that a little bit later. First, I wanna learn some about Christmas trees, don't you guys? So I got this really cool stick. You guys see this stick? This is really tall. Now we talk about this on the show sometimes. You know, Cowboy Jack is about six feet. Hey, wait a second, are y'all laughing at my hair? Okay, I'll put this back on. All right, now this stick is marked with how tall things are. It starts down here at four feet, five feet, goes up to six, seven, all the way up to eight. So, what you would do is you decide how big of a Christmas tree you need. You know, not everybody's ceiling is the same height. If you have an eight foot ceiling and you came home with a 10 foot Christmas tree, You'd be in about two feet of big trouble. So this stick is really useful. Let's walk out along these trees and see what we can figure out. Boy, look at this. I mean, just look at the landscape. It's absolutely covered with Christmas trees. Oh, what fun it is Christmas tree farm is just absolutely chock full of trees. See, and they actually grow them here on site. That means they plant them and let them grow all the way to maturity. So like this right here is just a little guy. He hadn't been around for too long but I bet you in a year or two, he'll be really nice and ready to celebrate Christmas. Wow. And they kind of plant them in rows so you can make your way around and take a look. Hey, do you guys want to guess how tall this Christmas tree is? No cheating, don't look at the stick. Now I'm going to take a guess, you know, Cowboy Jack's about six feet tall. I think that's about a, about a four and a half foot tree maybe. Let's see, let's see. Look at that. I think it's just a little bit over five feet tall. You guys were really close with your guess. Boy, this is fun. Let's find one a little bit taller. Woo-wee. Some of these trees are just absolutely beautiful. And it's so cool. I love the shape. Oh, look at this one. This is a really beautiful tree right here. It looks like a perfectly shaped classic Christmas tree. You know, you don't just put a tree in your house. You got to decorate it put all kinds of fun things on it like Christmas ornaments and maybe some string lights, candy canes. I love putting candy canes on our tree because I like to sneak and have one every once in a while. Let's see how tall this guy is. Wow, that looks to be almost six and a half feet tall. That is so cool. Now, let's just keep wandering around. This is so much fun. Wow, I love being outside. Isn't it great? The weather here today is just absolutely beautiful. And I just love a good crisp autumn, fall, kind of wintry day. It's not quite winter here in Texas, but you know, it's getting a little cooler. It feels really great. Whew. You guys want to take a deep breath with me? I always like to take a deep breath when I'm walking out in the woods and kind of think about how great the day is. So let's do that together. One, two, three. Yep, sure is a beautiful day for Christmas trees. Wow, let's sneak over this way. Now this one I see is really, really tall. I don't even know if it's a, look, this, the measuring stick goes to eight feet and it's not even it's tall enough to measure this whole tree. This is a really big one. You need a really big living room for this guy. That is so cool. And as you can see, like I said, they grow all these trees on site here at Oh What Fun It Is Christmas Tree Farm. Look out there. You see, those are all little bitty baby trees. They're not quite ready to be cut down and used yet, but I bet within a year or two, maybe a little bit longer, they'll be just the right size. But that's really cool, because if you look out here, <laughs> you guys wait right there. If you look out there, you can see little bitty trees. Now turn around and look the other way. 
see, you see all those really big trees. So this area over here with the little bitty trees is gonna look just like that in just a couple of years. Isn't that cool? Kind of like us. We don't stay little forever. We eventually grow up and get a little bit taller. All right, well, as I was exploring around these Christmas trees, it reminded me of something. You know, we think of the Christmas tree as just like a home decoration, but it is an actual living tree. And check this out. I found some actual pine cones right here on the tree. Boy, I bet a squirrel would love to get a hold of those. And you know what? Before you take your tree home with you, you might want to just give it a good shake. That way, you know, there's no squirrels in it. I'm pretty sure I've seen a funny movie with that in it. <laughs> Out here, the fun doesn't stop with the Christmas trees. There's all kinds of cool stuff to do. Like, have you guys ever played ladder golf before? That's this game right here. It's really fun. I haven't played for a while, so don't judge me at uh, how good I am. So these balls are suspended on a string, and that's important. You're gonna use these, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're gonna use that to try and wrap it around this side over here. You guys ready? Woo, I got the top ring. Look at that. You guys ready? Ooh, second ring. Let's see how I can do on this third try. One, two, three. Whoop, not very good. Anyways, it's just one of those things, like we always say, you gotta practice if you wanna get better, but that was really fun. And then of course they have cornhole. I love playing cornhole. You take the bean bags and you try to throw them to the other side and make them in the hole. There's all, ooh, giant connect four. That's crazy. That is a huge giant connect four. I used to play that when I was a little cowboy, but it was sitting on the table and it was only about this big. <laughs> all right. I just love all these Christmas decorations out here. They've got some great picnic tables to hang out at if you need to take a rest from all the excitement. Wait a second. Do you guys see what I'm seeing over here? Come on, this is gonna be so cool. They have an actual petting zoo here. I see a lot of goats and I even see a turkey. Wow, well you know I gotta go say hi to those goats. I just love goats. Hello, goats. Mind if we come talk to you? My name is Cowboy Jack. I don't have any food on me, but I'd love to hang out. What do you guys think? All right. Let me close the gate behind me. We don't want any goat escapees. Let's just see if they're how friendly they are. Come here, little buddy. Hey, look at this guy. He's got the cool little horns. Look at you. Come here. What's going on, baby goats? Come on, guys. Don't be shy. <laughs> Boy, I never thought we'd be looking at goats and hanging out with them right when we were at the Christmas tree farm. That is so cool. Come here, guys, come here. Hey, boy, you are a sweet, sweet goat. Probably the sweetest goat I've ever met. <laughs> you guys wanna see if a, if a goat would wear my hat? What do you think, goat? How's he look, guys? <laughs> oh, you wanted to try it on too? Come here, little guy. Whoop. I don't think he's cut out for the cowboy life. He's more about just goating around. Now, I saw the turkey over here. Hello, Mr. Turkey. What's that? Guys, look at Mr. Turkey here. That's Mr. Tom. You wanna stand up and talk a little bit? 
Oh, come on. You ought to be more friendly than that. It's after Thanksgiving. You're safe. <laughs> Boy, that's a really beautiful bird. What a cool animal. I just love it. They are so cool. I think these goats like me a whole, whole lot. <laughs> Look at you guys. Hey, cowboys and cowgirls. I was over here exploring and I found something really cool, really surprising on the ground. Do you guys want to take a look at what it is? That's a really big caterpillar. I don't think that's the kind you'd want to touch, but I just had to take a look at him. Wow, he's got a really, really big mouth over here that he's using to eat leaves and things like that. Boy, what an interesting find here at the Christmas tree farm. I didn't expect that. But let's just leave him alone to do his own thing. I just want to stop by and show you guys real quick. Whew, that was a shocker. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, we're fixing to go on a real hayride. Take a look, we're in, look right here. We're actually sitting down on hay and Mr. Brian up there is driving us on the tractor. We're pulling, we're getting pulled in a trailer. This is called a hayride, but this is a really cool hayride because we're actually getting pulled around a Christmas tree farm. You can look all down the rows. It's really fun. Wow, look at all of those trees. There's just so many. And even not just the Christmas trees, take a look around on this side. There are some beautiful oaks and native pines, all kinds of beautiful trees out here. And see, look right over here. These are like those baby Christmas trees we were talking about. They're not quite ready yet, but they're doing a great job of growing and maturing. Boy, look at how pretty it is out there, looking at all of those Christmas trees. That is just a beautiful sight. Boy, this is so cool. I love these hay rides. Got the tractor rumbling up here, the view out here. What a crisp, nice day. Good day to fan your hair. Hey, wait a second. You guys are laughing at my hair again. All right, fine, I'll put the hat back on. Boy, and you know what? Here in the East Texas Piney Woods, because we're in Willis, Texas today, you know, pine trees are a big part of this ecosystem. So these out here are all specifically planted Christmas trees. But if you look all up there, those are the native pines that we have all throughout East Texas, the big piney woods behind the pine curtain, as they say. There's a million things you can do with in this neck of the woods. And if you were interested in being a part of the forestry service, you could definitely do that. Those are big, important jobs that take care of these native landscapes. There's just so many amazing things about this part of the state, just like all parts of the state. Look at that little bitty guy. That might be your Christmas tree in two or three years. That is so cool. This is just so exciting. I just love being outside this time of year. It is so perfect. Oof, almost, it feels better than air conditioning. It's so great. Look, we've got this long straightaway coming up. And this right back here is where Mr. Brian told me the biggest trees on the entire property are. So we're gonna drive by some really big Christmas trees, like 10, 12, 14 footers, really big ones, bigger than even Cowboy Jack. You know, some of the wildlife you might see out here would include things like raccoons, possums, white-tailed deer, bobcats, coyotes, red foxes, gray foxes, hmm, of course, field mice. Beautiful field, needs mice, right? <laughs> we have a lot of crows, a lot of really big blue jays. But you know what's making an incredible comeback to this part of the state? Bald eagles. Bald eagles are making a huge comeback to this part of the state. It's really fun to get to see them because growing up, I never got to see a bald eagle unless I traveled a really long way, but now we get to see them all over the place. See, these are some of those really huge trees out here. Wow, and we're up pretty high. If you look down at the ground, we're on top of this low boy trailer on top of two spinning wheels.
Wow, now we're going right down the middle of them. Whew, it's a little bit windy today. It feels nice. You know, it's always important to put safety first when you're on a hayride. We really should be sitting down. Now, I'm a big kid and I'm making a show for you guys. I wanted to make sure you had a great perspective on this, so I'm standing up. But what I should be doing is sitting down like this and holding on for safety. Did you guys have any idea that a Christmas tree farm could be this exciting? This was actually rated one of the top family destinations in the whole Houston Metroplex. And we're not even in Houston, Texas right now. We're a little bit far away. This is so cool. Boy, just surrounded by the great outdoors, some beautiful Christmas trees, the grass, the blue sky. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you look up there, you can even see that it's a half moon. Like the half of the moon is showing right out here in the midday. All right, we're back where we started, the end of the hayride. Boy, this was so cool. I just love that fast-paced tour of the property. It was a whole lot of fun to do. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it too. All right, now one more fun thing we gotta do here is make some s'mores. I've got these little bags full of the really cool stuff. You guys see what that is? That's a Hershey's chocolate bar, two marshmallows, and two graham crackers. Have you guys ever made s'mores before? It's a lot of fun. So I have this stick here. I'm gonna roast the marshmallows on it over an open fire. It's gonna be really cool. You have to be very careful when you're doing this. Only do it with an adult around you, okay? So first I'm gonna get my marshmallows and I'm gonna put them right on the stick. Now the end of this stick is kind of sharp, so you have to be careful. Gotta just work it on there. Whoop. Just like that. Ooh, he didn't want to go on there. Put this one on there too. Now I've got my two marshmallows on there. I should have got everything set up first. I've got my two graham crackers. Let me get my chocolate bar. That's the most important part set that down and unwrap this chocolate doo, 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 doo. look at that perfectly good chocolate bar now I know it's tempting to go ahead and eat it as is but what we want to do is we want to roast these marshmallows on the fire come over here guys now a lot of people like them real burnt I just like to kind of warm them up and get them a little bit toasty it's important to rotate them around so they get evenly done this fire is really hot, so you need to be extra, extra careful. Woo, and as you can see, that marshmallow on the end is starting to get a little bit brown. That's how you want them. Well, everybody likes them different, but that's how I like them. Nice and toasty. All right, see, look at that. A nice, toasty marshmallow. Now, I'm gonna take my graham cracker. Oh, I'll just bring it to you guys. You stay right there. Whoop -a -doop -a -doop. All right. I am going to put my graham cracker and my chocolate down. And then I'm gonna put the marshmallows right on that. Put the other graham cracker on top and smash it down. These are gooey, gooey treats. So you gotta pull the stick out and now Set that aside, looky there. I kind of mushed it down a little bit too much, but all that chocolate is melting on there. I gotta take a bite of this, this looks too good. You ready? What do you guys think it tastes like? Mmm. 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 Oh, sorry. It's not polite to talk with your mouth open. That is such a tasty treat. The marshmallows gooiness, the melted chocolate, the graham cracker crumble. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I wish I mmm, mmm, Again, we should never talk with food in our mouth. It's impolite. You're supposed to swallow it first and then you can talk. I was thinking we should make one more just to see how it comes out. Now that last one was an awful lot of marshmallows, so I think I'm only gonna do one marshmallow this time. 
I've got it on my stick. Now I'm going to roast it up. Whew. That fire is definitely putting off some heat. Something very welcome on a cool, crisp Texas evening, right? Nice and toasty. Whoops, caught on fire. This can happen sometimes too. You just blow it out. That one's gonna be extra crunchy, but it's still very edible. <laughs> All right, my chocolate, my marshmallow, my crispy marshmallow. Looky there. Woo! This one's super gooey. Let me give this a whirl. Mmm. Mm. All right, wow, making s'mores was a whole lot of fun. But you gotta remember campfire safety. You never wanna be too close. You never come over to a fire without an adult present. And always make sure you keep a safe distance. All right, boy, that was a lot of fun. Wow, cowboys and cowgirls, what an amazing adventure we had today here at Oh What Fun It Is Christmas Tree Farm in Willis, Texas. We've had an absolute blast. We got to learn all about these beautiful Christmas trees and how they grow them on site. I made some s'mores. We went on a hay ride. We petted some goats. I mean, we've done all kinds of stuff. So I hope you had a great time with us today. And if you did, make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. That way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. But until next time I see you, yeah!